largest sell-off in all things related to drug stocks, obscuring the strength in high-quality healthcare companies that have nothing to do with the recent political grandstanding about drug prices. Like I mentioned at the top of the show, I think the rollover in the healthcare space is getting a little ridiculous. Take Premier, that's P-I-N-C for you home gamers. It's a company that allows doctors and hospitals to save money on medical supplies while also helping them improve the quality of their care and produce, most important, better patient outcomes. Premier serves an alliance of more than 3,600 hospitals, 120,000 alternative care sites nationwide. Provides supply chain services, where Premier basically uses the collective purchasing power of all its clients to help them get drugs and supplies at lower prices. Plus, the company also has this data analytics business, including software as a service offering where they help their customers make cost and quality improvements. Yeah, if anything, Premier might benefit if the politicians in Washington end up forcing down the cost of high-priced drugs. So how does it make sense that the stock sank a little more than 3% today? Plus, Premier reported a strong quarter late August, and just this morning, the company actually raised its full-year revenue guidance. You expect the stock to go up on that news, not down. So let's take a closer look with Susan DeVore. She's the president and CEO of Premier. Learn more about how the company's doing and where it's headed. Ms. DeVore, welcome to Mad Money. Hi, Jim. How are you? Uh, Have a seat. Nice All to right, meet you. All right, just because the market de- is so nutty, down 3% of your day, you raise guidance, you have a big contract from the government, and that allows you to raise guidance. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And we're trying to solve a lot of those problems you discussed, problems for patients and healthcare systems around high cost of pharmaceuticals, high cost of supplies, and really improving the quality and safety of health care. Right, so, so when some Yahoo guy comes on our network and other networks and raises the price of a drug 5,000%, maybe Premier can check that. Yeah, we do check that every day. We okay. actually try to create competitive friction between companies so they drive the price down. We actually have $44 billion of spend wow. that runs through our group purchasing organization. And what we're able to do uniquely is bring clinical information together with pricing information to really figure out what's appropriate. How perfect is the market? Does the market need your help because there's so many anomalies? The market needs our help a lot. Um, okay. There is still 30% savings to be gotten in health care. And it's a combination of this really fragmented system that needs to improve quality, improve safety, and lower the cost of the inputs, the supplies. Okay, so when we see, uh, for instance, we, we've had a bunch of money, a bunch of, of really good biotech companies come in, but they talk about pricing that seems a little bit absurd. What do you do? Do you go into them and say, look, we've got all these different bars. We're not playing, paying that retail price? So what we do is we bring competitive suppliers in. Okay. We have them, we negotiate contracts with them for the lowest possible price. Our member health systems stand behind that. We actually support the use of generics, support the use of biosimilars, all those things. And then we help our health systems figure out how much of a drug they're using and should they be using it to begin with. Does it really change the clinical outcomes? And so we're able to bring all of that to bear in the decision, the end decision around a contract price. And if someone wasn't part of your network, what, what, you know, when you go in to sell a, a big network, uh, what kind of savings can you show them? Yeah, so we have a big system in Ohio, Mercy Health System. Okay, it has yes, I know 450 health care locations. Right. We have saved them over the last four years $120 million. And we're able to do that by corralling all of their volume, buying together with other health systems, and then helping them improve their clinical effectiveness. Okay, you've made a series of acquisitions. We're, we're getting somewhat hesitant when we see a lot of acquisitions at once. Right. What do these do, and why does it make sense, and why should, why should we not fear that you're doing kind of a roll-up where there's so many acquisitions we, acquisitions, we can't keep track of them? So we've been around a long time, and when I wake up every morning, I think about 120 million patients out there. We have a 40% footprint today. That means we have the ability to impact... 120 million? 120 million. We have One 40, third of the country. A 40% footprint, right, okay. which means we have the opportunity to impact the health care okay. of 120 million people. And that is a big obligation. And for me, this is a calling. You know, this right. is... I'm trying to transform the health care system together with providers from the inside. Uh, because I don't think government can fix this by itself. Right. I don't think insurers can fix this. I actually think the people delivering care together with patients, having all of the data, all of the infrastructure, all of the collaboration can solve this problem. Well, I'm glad I had you on because, you know, a lot of people are thinking, who can stand in the way of these companies that just raise price, raise price, raise price? The answer is you and Premier can. Yeah, we have government contracts. Right. We have contracts with suppliers. We have all these providers. And actually, it takes all three of them to solve this problem. Terrific.
Okay, well, that's Susan DeVore, the president and CEO of Premier. New company for us. Lots of information about it, including a deck where you can find out much more for a company that is solving problems, not, not adding to our problems for healthcare. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.